Hey guys, welcome. This is my second tutorial uh, on SL on SRE site reliable to engineering. Uh, uh, if you if you if you are not watching uh, my previous one, please watch. I'll post the description. I'll post the link in the description. Yeah, I'm complete. I divided the complete uh, structure into the four modules, and fifth module is a bonus for developers. Uh, and this is like second module. In the first module, I'll give the complete overview about. Uh, uh what is sre and how we should uh, implement the sre in our uh, in our daily project then the next thing in this module we'll talk we'll take care about uh, we'll talk about uh, uh key features in sre like uh, slis slos slas and the risk and error budget and then what is like three to four nines uh, 99.9 uh, percent reliability availability latency or four nines everything so basically uh in uh, in a, in a pro in a project we have developers like and operators uh, developers will will have more agility like uh, developers will concern about the how the things we need to move to production the new features will be introduced in production and the operates team is basically like stability which we these things the difference between these the, all things we explained in the uh, previous tutorial uh, previous video you can watch the tutorial um so developers are focus focusing on uh, more, more stuff to the operations and operations are like uh, Mm, so, uh, like uh, angry like what the uh, like uh, why uh, why uh, more more things like uh, for them the uh, for them uh, for op for maintenance and support is like becoming difficult day by day because they don't know anything uh, what the, what what developers are pushing they simply need to support if anything happens they they, they get back to developers so site reliable engineering uh, which defines availability level of avail availability so basically the if, if we uh, like uh, if we concern about uh, in a project uh, there is there, we need to take care of different parameters to concern like uh, either we need to take care of latency or we need to take care of uh, availability or we need to take care of uh, uh, reliability these things will be we need to consider uh, before uh, before we designing our slis slos slas so basically sls is like service level indicator uh, the, the uh, if like uh, if uh, if we do one uh, like in a project generally we have like uh, 80 to 90 apis nine like small services which can will command uh, like a big big service so in a service how it in how the service indicates how much it's uh, strengthening uh, these kind of things will be it call sls like uh, latency throughput and failures per request like uh, how much latency it took me uh, to get uh, to get the response to the user uh, we need to check that one and how much throughput it gives the uh, it gives and how and uh, like if, if we do like uh, some uh, some five to uh, like a thousand to two thousand requests at a, at a, at a time at, at like in second so how many it got passed and how many it got failed mm, everything uh, uh, so next thing is like slos service level objectives now, now the name itself difference like a service level indicates and its object so whatever is whatever we are indicating that should be objective at some point at some point of time binding targets from the collection of slis that exactly the word the word which i want to take care about next is like service level agreement like this agreement the, as a developer we need, we need to uh, we need to concern about slos uh we have the product owners right like uh, they are more concerned about service level agreements like a business agreement uh, business agreement um, between a customer and service providers typically based on slos the whatever agreement uh, which uh, which uh, business is typing with the customer which is based on the SL, uh, our final slos so finally uh, we can say all these three things into one word uh, slis drive slos which inform slas yeah nothing but developers will be concerned about slis and uh, and uh, during the, some period of time like three months or six months or uh, one year how uh, how our services are performing how uh, and which drives the slos like one uh, okay uh, so in the last six months i'm observing that uh, i am uh, like uh, my api is getting uh, better and it's uh, from last 6 months it's getting like um, um in 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 a, in, a, in a, at a time if we had 1000 requests so 999 getting passed so like it's like 99% like uh, like in 1 lakh request like 1 million requests like uh, 
ओके नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट माई एस एल एस सो वी आर वी आर गिविंग एस एल ओ टार वी आर गिविंग एस एल ओ से नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट सो बिजनेस विल बिजनेस विल एग्रीज एंड कस्टमर्स ओके ओके माई एस एल एज लाइक आई एम एग्रीइंग सर्विस लाइव एग्रीमेंट नाइन नाइन पॉइंट बिजनेस कैन से इट लाइक नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट लाइक वॉट एस एल ओस वी हैव और इट कैन से नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इट्स कंप्लीटली अप टू बिजनेस टीम सो ओके दिस इज द क्लियर क्लियर डिविजन ऑफ द पिक्चर लाइक so in sls we have product development team we have in product development team we have sres which will take care of sls when it comes to slos um, we need to we need to talk with business yeah okay business. okay okay owner um uh, we monitor sls for one year so finally we conclude our slo is like 99.9% or 99.5% and the product owner is responsible to uh, to agree with the end sales or end, end customer okay um we observe sls and we come up with slos and finally we agree and i am agreeing the sla is like 99.5% something in summary sls how did we do like how this mainly depends on how architecture and what are the things we are using in our architecture the programming everything and slos is like as a developer our goal is like slos yeah we need to achieve that we need to set our slos and sla is like promise to the customers uh, from the business point of uh, from the business side okay and the next thing is a risk and error budget at the end of this in end of this the risk and error budget i will uh, give the real real demo like how when companies uh, will do slas slos everything so first thing is a risk and error budget and how we know our product is more risk like thing risk availability so 100% availability is not a good thing according to the google according to the google uh, thing suppose uh, we mm, our services will be 99.9% uh, to our near to our nearest uh, no nearest internet provider and uh, from cellular network we will only get the 99% only or uh, like 1% is not available in the cellular in the cellular uh, network itself so what we are providing in the future 99.9% uh, will not be, will not get to the customer customer will only get the 98.9% itself so increasing reliability is a worse for a service uh, rather than the better because increasing reliability when we when we are sticking the when we are sticking the slos because i want my slos 99.99% 99.9% it comes with a lot of cost because uh, for 99.9% uh, it's like a downtime is very less like hardly 40 minutes if 99.99% is 4 minutes Yeah, basically the maximum stability limits how fast a new features can be developed and how quick a products can be delivered to the users and the risk is based on uh, uh, suppose we are we are delivering the new features like every week like every 3 days 4 days like uh, then then we can say there is more risk uh, to our api uh, when when the, when the customer is using uh, the ba- based on how fast a new features can be developed and how quickly products can be delivered to the users uh based on these two parameters our risk can be categorized so risk tolerance risk tolerance how do we determine how much risk our services is tolerate that's product design we have to work with product management team to figure out what is the explicit goal to figure uh available to targets of a service yeah the first thing is uh, before uh, getting in getting into any any risk we need to uh, we need to talk with our management like uh, generally owners uh, business analyst we need to talk we need to we need to we need to talk with them when we are when we are developing new stuff so how much risk can we tolerate mm. the acceptance of the risk of the system dictates the slos um, sometimes slos are, slos can be breached if there is, suppose uh, if we remove something if we inter- if we introduce something to the customers uh, after do- after developing one month after monitoring the three months of, S- of our slis and we got some slos like 99.9% from that onwards uh, suppose uh, our, our uh, user base is growing tremendously so we want uh, so we want customers should get n- more new features so if we, if, we, if we, so next time onwards uh, without proper automating without proper uh, sla sla monitoring if we remove if we, if we introduce more 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 fe- features to the customers then uh, it then the risk uh, so finally it uh, um uh, finally it reflects our it reflects our slos it in turn it reflects our agreement what 
what uh, SLA agreement uh, agreed with the customer. Finally, no one want uh, customers to be unhappy. We need to, we need to take care about the, we need to take care about customer point of view also. Okay, the next thing is like error budget, quantitative measurement that shares between SRE and product development team. Error budget. Okay, let's say our SLO is ninety nine point nine percent, which means what suppose. Uh, uh we have availability let's take our slo is taking about ta taking care of availability so my site is available at 99.9 percent .9%. like 0 0.1 percent is like our, uh is our error budget which is nothing but uh, so 99.9 .9 percent is a month will month have a 0 0.1 percent is the error budget which comes like 0 0.001 into 30 days uh in a month as for suppose uh, we have 30 days in a month so into 24 hours into 60 minutes so finally for month per month 43 minutes can be down time can be down uh, our system can be down uh, that 43 minutes which is the which is our final error budget so finally how we can classify error budget in a smart way balance innovation and stability in an appropriate level so our innovation our our new features and our stability should be balanced to to be fall under this error budget should not be exceed this error budget yeah this is the main concept of error budget which we need to calculate the 30 days uh, based on our slos so we need to monitor everything uh, we need to monitor our uh, health suppose we are agreed uh, like uh, it should be under th under 300 milliseconds uh, our customer will get the response so some of the requests under 300 milliseconds so uh, we need to check our budget is exceeding or not. So these are the monitoring everything like uh, our SLOs uh, uh, should be monitor. So uh, uh, so this is like uh, in my organization in prod this is like prod customer data. Uh, so this is like this is this is like um, our SLOs we are we are using these SLIs. So um, for example uh, in in this uh, picture you are showing I'm I'm seeing availability monitoring. So uh, SLIs, you can you can be do SL, SLOs uh, on various metrics like availability, latency, uh, everything. So this is the one of the metric called availability. So let's let's say here um, total valid requests. Uh, customer quoted uh, quoted one ninety like uh, one lakh ninety five thousand eight forty six. So customer got successful responses only one sixty four one lakh sixty four. So our success response is like 83. So my site is like available for 83.749%. So successful response in the sense means it's uh, I'm I'm uh, we are ignoring bad requests because a bad requests is not a is not is also come under successful responses only because uh, bad requests is like customer doing some customer giving something wrong. So if customers want to update their information in the in the portal, customer give the wrong value. Uh, like against our policies, uh, like that, that is that is considered the bad request. Uh, we are giving the actual response, so our, our site is available. Uh, so that we need to consider those also. Um, the only thing we need to consider is like uh, something internal microservices. So in this microservice kind of architecture, suppose there are uh, ten microservices, ten there are, suppose there are ten microservices, which are responsible to get the uh, which are. Uh, uh, which, which, which responsible to get the output to the customer suppose we have uh, some issue with the nine or uh, some uh, some microservices like eight microservices is down so at that time will customer will get, will get the 500 uh, uh, so or any exception or, or route exception or uh, like uh, if you modify the errors we'll get some other exception so all these things we need to calculate here and the finally our SLO target is like 99.9 percent .9%, so we achieved only 83 percent so 99 so when it comes to 9195 846 in that 99.9% .9 is, is nothing but 0 0.1% of error budget which means 195 requests so our error budget is 195 so uh, until 195 requests uh, a customer uh, uh, responses can be failed but what happened like 195 minus 164 which leads to 31 31000 requests got failed so we are exceed the error budget this is the serious issue like we need to take care we need to we need to get back our uh, we need to get we need to get back to our system design so how we got how we design so why it is not available uh, 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 like how like uh, um, which api is causing so these things we need to take care. 
ఎగ్జాక్ట్ we are happy with SLO, what we agreed but it's like 99.0882 so in, in 99.9 in the sense is like only we have chance until it can uh, tolerate only two budget two budget two uh, responses can be exceed can be down can be down but it happened 25 so total our uh, error budget is exceeded like 21 uh, yeah this is a one kind of monitoring and the next thing is like latency so total uh, actually uh, you can see how it less is like previously we we, we put like uh, 200 milliseconds and then we reduce like 100 milliseconds after achieving 100 milliseconds then we finally in the last uh, one uh, last week we are testing with uh, this is like testing environment we are testing with 50 milliseconds mm. so total 164 uh, milliseconds i am only getting 28 only uh, which is less than uh, uh, 50 milliseconds for for, for uh, response in pricing uh so my successful response is very less like 0.017 um in 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 an organization this is like uh, this is like a uh, uh, serious situation because uh, budget allocated is like 820 we are exceed like almost uh, 99% we are exceed the error, error budget at this particular point of time we need to stop the releases sri we need to take care and need to take care either need to increase the hmm, increase our uh, agreement what we agreed for 50 milliseconds or uh, we need or something happened in the design we need to look into that so it's, it's like total 2482 responses in that only less than nothing got less than 40 milliseconds previously this is like testing environment we tested for 400 milliseconds so everything got passed like uh, we got the 99.5 uh, percent slo target we observed for three months then uh, then we introduce some new features so and also we decrease the uh, sol agreement for in, in testing environment whether how our system is uh, how our system getting fastest response we, uh, like uh, we we make threshold as 40 milliseconds so finally we didn't achieve it, so we still we are trying to achieve uh, it's like uh, it's like a development uh, we need to take care about these things and then finally there's a breakdown so previously it's okay and like 20000 valid requests are there in that pricing the pricing error which means that in, in pricing something happened like uh, let's say some calculations the more the more math involved in the uh, in in uh, in, uh, in tech companies you obviously know so something happened like array out of bound exceptions or some or big quotes got dropped or null pointer exceptions these kind of things uh these like some separate service uh, which is down uh, like uh, this is this service is down we need to break like um, in, in in monthly wise uh, how much uh, how our system is performing same for pricing and same for booking like uh, last 24 hours how it got breakdown we need to monitor everything yeah this comes the complete detailed conclusion about slis slos slis and also risk and error budget the one thing you need to, you need to, you need to take care about is like uh, um, uh, uh, how how we are monitoring slis and what we agreed the SLOs with the business and how uh, and how the and we should and we need to take care about uh, uh, it should not bridge the uh, agreed SLAs. yeah in the next in the next module we'll talk we'll we'll talk about something called uh, toil and observability like toil is kind of manual repeated repetitive work we'll discuss these things in the next module how we should log metrics alerts everything to eliminate the toil yeah if you like the video please subscribe and thumbs up and share it to your friends yeah uh, we can uh, we can get back tomorrow for the brand new video like thank you